Hello everyone and welcome back. It is now the beginning of summer in the UK and although the mornings and evenings are still chilly and a cup of hot tea and a blanket still bring comfort, the afternoons are already growing warmer and one can sit in the gentle sunshine and hear the birds who sing out songs of joy at the growing warmth of days. Everywhere I look, I see explosions of colour and new life, and the earth is at its peak of beauty and abundance. The birds are singing songs that fill my heart with such a beautiful feeling of joy and lightness, and the warm rays of sunshine are like a gentle embrace on my skin. The first days of early summer are one of my favourite and always inspire me to be creative and get little projects done. And so today I wanted to prepare some sauerkraut and get this set up as I will then let it sit for about a month to ferment to full flavour. I love learning how to prepare foods that maybe take a little more time but are done in a traditional way as they were in the past. Sauerkraut was a staple food prepared by my own ancestors from Eastern Europe and was something very valuable to make in large batches to have on hand for colder months when foods were more scarce. Lots of foods were pickled and fermented and these kind of foods really kept families going throughout winter. Fermented foods are also so wonderfully beneficial for our gut and our bodies in general. And in the last few years, I've really enjoyed learning how to prepare lots of my own foods from scratch. And it's so satisfying to be able to prepare your own food as fresh as possible and knowing that it's so good for you.
something else I've really enjoyed recently is learning how to make some of my own body products. And since my skin tends to get dry with hot weather, today I'm making some lovely rose and calendula body butter using my rose and calendula infused oil that I made a few videos back. I will link this video below if you'd like to watch how I did it. During the time of the pandemic and the lockdowns, I decided that I wanted to learn how to be as self-sufficient as I can in the future. To learn to make things for myself, gain new skills and study herbalism. I'm still on a long journey with this, but what I've already been able to learn has brought such a feeling of self-empowerment and such fascination of everything there is still to learn. But maybe most importantly, it's brought me an awareness and gratitude for what I already have and what I can do with it. It is my hope that in these videos I can share with you the things I've learned so that you may also give them a go and also feel that you can learn to be more self-sufficient, even in small ways. I think it's such a valuable thing nowadays. I want to thank you so much for joining me today and I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please do consider subscribing for weekly videos on slow living and a bit of herbal magic. I truly hope you have a wonderful day or night and I'll see you in the next video.